the two ascending longitudinal systems that we need to be able to be aware of what's going on are the sensory systems divided into two components. The spinal thalamic, which serves the sensory functions of pain and temperature, and the dorsal column medial meniscus system, which is for position sense as well as discriminatory sensation. Now, two important anatomical and hence clinical points that we need to be aware of and to, to think of that help us as far as localization are as follows. As we look at the spinal thalamic tracts, they enter the spinal cord and cross almost immediately to the opposite side and then ascend up to the thalamus and on to the cortex. On the other hand, the dorsal column medial lemniscus system does not cross immediately. In fact, it doesn't, across until, it doesn't cross until it reaches the medulla and then it crosses over and ascends. So the level of crossing is different for the two systems. The second important anatomical point is that the dorsal columns and the spinal thalamics are dispersed as far as their position in space. So we have the dorsal columns coming up through the dorsal columns in the spinal cord level, where the spinal thalamics are over to the anterior lateral system. So they have this spatial disparity until they reach the rostral pons, at which time they're in close anatomical proximity and continue in close anatomical proximity until they reach the thalamus and then up to the cortex. Those two anatomical points will become uh, clear as far as their clinical application as we go through and explore the neurological examination.